Hello students, welcome to the physics session. My name is Bhapna. Today we are going to take up the topic of measurement of length under the unit of physical quantities and its measurement. Now students, we are going to understand what is the importance of measurement in everyday life in this session. So let's begin with this. If I ask you a question, let's say you are traveling from Delhi to Kolkata. And I ask you approximately what do you think is the distance covered between Delhi and Kolkata if you are driving by the car. Can you give me a rough estimate? The answer could be yes. Yes, the rough estimate could be so and so kilometers, right? Because it's a very large distance, you can see what is the length or the distance between the two cities in approximation, right? On the other hand, if I just ask, what is the distance from Delhi to Ahmedabad? If you already knew what was the distance between Delhi and Kolkata, you can give me the answer in comparison that it is one half or approximately equal to the distance from Delhi to Kolkata. This is what we do every day. We are approximating or estimating different measurements. Let's say if I ask you what is the distance between you and your school, your house and your school. You can give me a rough estimate. It could be 1 kilometer, 2 kilometer, right? These are the things we use our knowledge and common sense to put in and find out what is the length or what could be the distance between two places. Right, students? So, Actually, when we talk about, when we give a rough estimate, when we give a rough value to the distance or any measurement that has been asked to us, we call it estimation. Now, in physics, estimation could be very, very misleading because when you are doing some calculation and your values are not accurate but estimated, there is a very big probability that things may go very wrong. Now, in this case, let's say we had taken example of Delhi to Kolkata and Delhi to Ahmedabad. Right, students? Let's say I say this is 200 kilometers. That is a very rough answer. Let's say it is 200 kilometers. And I estimated Delhi to Ahmedabad to be half of the distance between Delhi to Kolkata. Now, if I say that this comes out to be 100 kilometers, do you think this kind of estimation will give me an accurate answer ever? The answer would be wrong. To be more accurate, we use specific tools in physics. We are going to learn about those tools in this session. Okay, students, let's move forward and first understand what do we mean by the term of measurement. Measurement is defined as the comparison of an unknown quantity. In the previous case, when we were considering the example of Delhi to Kolkata and Delhi to Ahmedabad, we were saying Delhi to Ahmedabad is a unknown quantity, while Delhi to Kolkata is a known quantity. So, measurement is defined as the comparison of an unknown quantity with some known quantity. Now, this known quantity has to be accurate. If my unknown quantity itself is inaccurate, my comparison will be more inaccurate, right? So, this is very important when we talk about measurement, we talk about accuracy. Fine students, let's just revise the definition we just penned down. How do we define measurement? Measurement is defined as the comparison of an unknown quantity with some known quantity. Okay students, now we use measurement every day. We already discussed that we use measurement estimating things. What could be the distance? What could be the length? What is the time? We are estimating measurement every day. And we do not get to know how it is related to physics. Let's just take some of the examples that we do in everyday life and we do not actually understand we are measuring. Have you ever gone to a tailor just to get your clothes stitched? or your school uniform stitch, when you go to a tailor, that person first measures you. Like that person takes your measurement using a measuring tape. 
Now measuring tape has different graduated things over it. That things actually give you the measurement. First they will measure your shoulder, then your arm length, then your arm hole. These are the kind of measurement the tailor generally takes. Then those measurements are used to cut the cloth piece. Right students? So this is a very basic example of measuring what? In both the cases the tailor is trying to measure the length. Okay. So let's have a definition for this also. Length is the basic measurement. Right. And measuring tape is used as a tool to measure length. So this is one example that how we are measuring different things in our everyday life. Let's move to another example. Let's say you have a picnic. You have a picnic coming in your school and your school bus leaves at 7 a.m. Now obviously if your school bus leaves at 7 a.m. you have to be in the school before 7 a.m. right? Now if you have to reach the school before 7 a.m. you have to wake up even more early because you have to do your daily routine in the morning. So let's say when you have to reach the school at 7 a.m. you put an alarm for 5 in the morning and you wake up at 5. Then you go, you freshen up, you brush your teeth, you take a bath and then you dress up. You dress up nicely because you are going to a picnic, right? So at 5, slowly and slowly the time passes and it is 6 a.m. Now your school is will be at some distance from your house. It will take some time to reach that place. So as you are going to your school, the time is passing and at 7, what will you do? Your bus will leave. So, in this students, you are actually measuring time. As you are getting ready, you are waking up and putting an alarm, getting ready, then going for shower and doing things and leaving for the school, you are actually measuring how much time is being passing. So, this is one of the most common thing that we use every day. While the class is there, the class got over, we have to reach back home school, we go to a coaching or we have to have our study time and we have to go to play. We set our day in time. We measure our activities with time. 3 p.m. study, 4 p.m. play, 7 a.m. wake up, 9 p.m. food, right? So, we are measuring time every day, right? So, time is a basic measurement and what do we use to measure time students? We use a clock, right? Let's move and understand one more thing. Students, have you ever went for let's say grocery shopping or vegetable shopping with your mother? When you go in the market, the vegetable vendors have something in their hand such as this. This is called a balance. Now, whenever you go to a vegetable vendor or a fruit vendor, you may ask ki, we want 1 kg of mangoes or 2 kgs of potatoes, right? How do th those people actually measure the weight? They use a balance. So, this is also a very common measurement that we have to use in our daily life when we are buying stuff according to their weight, right? So, in this case, mass is a basic measurement that the vendor is using and we use what? We use balance to measure the mass. Fine students, let's move ahead and understand one more measurement that we commonly use in our daily life. This in the front picture, you can see there is a patient. There is a girl who may be suffering from fever because she has a thermometer in her mouth. That's what we do whenever we get a fever, our parents check our temperature using a thermometer, right? Even one more thing you can see, if a doctor is visiting you, they generally carry a stethoscope. This is also a measuring device. This measures your heartbeat. This tells whether your heart is beating, right? Or it is in lower mode, in low BP or it's in higher mode, right? So, whenever a patient gets fever, they temperature of their body rises, right? So, a thermometer is used to measure that. So, temperature is also a basic measurement and we use thermometer to measure the temperature. Okay, students? Fine. Now, we will understand what did we took as basic quantities that 
we can measure or we use every day and what we use to measure them. First quantity we understood was length. Right students? What did we use for it? We use generally a measuring tape to measure length. The second quantity was students time. Right? Now time is measured generally by a clock or a watch. Nowadays we use our mobile phones and even digital watches. Now third thing we use was mass. When you go out and buy vegetables or any product that has weight written on it, we call it, we are measuring the mass, right? So, mass can be measured using a balance, right students? And the fourth thing we understood was temperature. Now, temperature is measured using thermometer. Okay, students? Now, these are some of the basic quantities that we measure every day and we use some basic tools to measure them, right? For the while, we will focus ourselves on measuring the length, okay?